So I finally bought X Men Ordinary Wolverine for my PS3. And everything I was hoping it would be. I'm sure it's all bad in those stupid movies. Including that one back there. I mean, of course I'm going to buy it when it comes on DVD. But because it means I have my issues with it. I'm going to start by comparing the game to the movies. At least, yeah, the movies. And, uh, you know. Okay. Wolverine is, in a way, well, very much, he's an animal, you know. Claws are just an example of that. Even before we got the Panamantium and the Weapon X, he's a buddy, uh, he's an anti hero. It's what he's always been, what he always will be. And uh, clearly, Fox did not understand that. All these damn movies they produce and make and put in theaters. It's straight so far from the comic books, it's unbelievable. I mean, we get glimpses of Wolverine here and there. But, especially the last one, the Wolverine, as they call it. It's a bloody drama. I mean, from the girl, the, the hot Asian girl he has no chemistry with, to that stupid train fight. Instead the robot sewer samurai. I'm like, what the heck is wrong with these people making these movies? I when I was playing the game yesterday, played it a couple of days now, just bought it a few days ago. Half the game is better than the movies combined. I'm like, how is this possible? <laughs> I mean there's blood, there's action, the story's great. And gameplay that is pretty freaking high. I'd say so. I don't understand the person I traded in, but thank you, whoever you is. <laughs> and like the movie is not like a hundred mutants running around for like no reason. Gambit, honestly, was the most annoying villain or boss fight in that whole game. Yeah, he was annoying. I just wanted to kick his butt so bad, like. Deadpool thought was awesome. Wish I got that on tape, honestly. I could always add that later, of course, but. Yeah. Man, what a game. But yeah, the Silver Samurai. It's not a robot. Come on, man. It's almost as stupid as Cloud Galactus or a, a fake Mandarin in Iron Man 3. I mean, we just looked anyway, but. You know. How do you mess up these iconic villains? And then Brian Singer's talking about putting Apocalypse in an X-Men film in the future. Like, I don't think so, but the one thing you do not do, do not mess with Apocalypse. Fox are a screw over Galactus. Marvel messed up the Mandarin. And now you want to touch Apocalypse? The freaking biggest bad in the X-Men universe? I don't think so. Brian Singer, if you're out there listening to this, this is my nuts, man. It's not gonna happen. Alright. He's obviously just trying to compete with the uh, Marvel Studios and Sony or whatever. Except, give us some crappy ass X-Men Days of Future Past trailer. Doesn't get me excited whatsoever. They didn't even show any Sentinels or anything interesting, just. Which are, you know, useless crap. And as excited as I am to see Bishop on the big screen for the first time, I know he's gonna be in there for like five minutes. For Wolverine's use all the screen time and yelling doesn't ever look the freaking X Men film. So in my opinion, there's no reason to get excited for Future Past until I see some Sentinels in the trailer. And the Sentinels, they better be in there for more than a couple minutes. Because. I waited a long time to see Sentinels on the big screen. In the freaking X-Men Wolverine game, I, finished, I finally beat the game yesterday. The end of the game shows Wolverine in the future and there's freaking Sentinels, man. Like, how are the Sentinels in the game but not in the movies yet? What kind of sense does that make? What is wrong with you people?